All right, a good mood for the Dolphins. I'm going to blow your mind here. Uh, we're going to break this news because it is coming from the Eagles themselves. The Eagles have now traded out of their sixth pick and also 156, but in particular that sixth there to the Dolphins in exchange for 12 overall, 123 overall, and a 2022 first round pick. So again, the Eagles trading out of that sixth pick. We've never known. We've been trying to figure out forever what they're going to do there. So they're trading out of it. The Dolphins now get it. The Eagles move down to 12 as well as 156 and a couple of other things there. Um, Ryan Wilson, anything popping in your head immediately when you see that news? Well, I'm glad we showed the Twitter graphic because I actually fell out of my chair. I had to get, get up real quick because this is crazy. We're in crazy town. So, look, I just mentioned that maybe the Dolphins will trade down because Bill Belichick coached coach train and all that. They traded back up. So they went from two to, to three to, uh, to 12 to six. I suppose you could still be in the market for a Jamar Chase at six if you're concerned about a team between six and 12 making the move there. And, and now it's like, oh, they're all in on Tua. Are they thinking about a quarterback there? This is... Fantastic. This is what makes the draft so much fun. And we haven't seen a lot of big-time moves, especially in the span of 30 minutes, uh, in such a long time. But this is incredible. And I'm glad you you, you blew my mind on, on television. That was fun, too. But I do think Jamar Chase is still in the mix. Maybe an offensive lineman if they want one there at six. But, um, all right, I don't know how much longer we, I can take of this. So hopefully nothing else happens in the next 30, 30 seconds to one minute. Yeah, well, let's hope not. I mean, normally we're dealing this on draft night. Instead, it's happening about a month before. All right, let's talk about the Eagles because we've talked about it every mock draft. You're about to do your 30th one here. No clue what the Eagles are going <laughs> to do at six. Everybody's scratching their head there. So now the Eagles have 12, 123, and a 2022 first rounder in exchange for that. So, so moving down to 12, what does that tell you about the Eagles plan? Well, it certainly feels like now at 12, you're probably out of the quarterback conversation because that was the big deal at six, whether they were legitimately going to stick with Jalen Hurts. And we heard Howie Roseman say basically as much as that that was their plan to build around Jalen Hurts. And now that seems to be confirmed. But it also means that they're out of the, out of the Kyle Pitts conversation at six. I don't think he'll be there at 12, which is also interesting because they need help at tight end. Looks like Zach Hurts is probably uh, on his way out. Dallas Goddard has one more year left on his deal. You could get a linebacker there. They need help at linebacker. Backer. Micah Parsons could be there at 12. He had a great pro day yesterday. You could target cornerback. I know they have Darius Slay. Uh, they need some help in the secondary. There will be plenty of cornerbacks there. Sertan might be off the board by then. J.C. Horn should be available in that range. Caleb Farley, who uh, had his second back procedure. Uh, that's a concern for Caleb Farley, and he may actually fall down draft boards as a result. But this is good maneuvering by all the teams involved. I don't have anything negative to say in terms of a team being a loser, quote-unquote. I think this is just the Eagles making it known, look, we don't want a quarterback. If someone wants to come up and get one at six or do whatever at six, please, by all means, we'll move down and get the guy we want to target. Offensive linemen could also be in the mix there. So there are a lot of ways that the Eagles could go. They have a lot of needs, and, and I think there'll be a great player there at 12 that would have been there at six but maybe a little too rich for their blood. Ryan, since we had a little bit to digest this now, I want to go back to the Dolphins now at six because we've thought it's Tua. Um, and then when they moved down to 12, we're like, all right, no quarterbacks. Now they're back up at six. So does it, what are you thinking? Are you thinking they, they want a quarterback? There's somebody in particular they're eyeing there. What sort of needs do they have to fill that they could at six? So, right. So, I think quarterback is out of the mix. Because if you really want a quarterback, you just stay at three and, and take that player there. Justin Fields, Matt Jones, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance. But at six... Maybe Jamar Chase is back in the mix. Maybe you feel like that's those dropping down those three spots, getting all that you were able to get allows you to get Jamar Chase at six. And maybe you went down to 12 with the understanding that you would be eager to move back up. So if I'm doing the math in my head and just sort of going through this, maybe you get the phone call from the 49ers. So yeah, 12, no problem. And you know immediately you're going to call a team like the Eagles at six and move up to get, go back and to be in the conversation uh, for someone like Jamar Chase. Or maybe Jalen Waddle's your guy there, Devontae Smith. Or even, as I mentioned, Kyle pits the tight end, uh, that would be a huge gift for Tua because at the end of the day, you're trying to build around Tua if he's your guy. Give him weapons. Yes, they have Preston Williams. Yes, they have Devontae Parker. Yes, they signed some guys in free agency, but there's only one Jalen Waddell. There's only one uh, Devonta Smith and, and uh, Jamar Chase and certainly Kyle Pitts. And maybe those type of playmakers is what you're thinking about targeting. It could be an offensive lineman. I don't think Panay Sewell gets past five in the Bengals. Rashawn Slater's an option, Elijah Bear Tucker, but I think those players 
the, the, between the two of those, uh, Vera Tucker and Slater, might be there at 12. So I think you have a, a, a specific player in mind, and if I just had to guess right now, it's either a wide receiver, starting with Jamar Chase, or even Kyle Pitts, the, the tight end out of Florida. Get some weapons for Tua around him. Ryan Wilson, thank you so much. I know you were going to start your mock draft, your 30th one today. Instead, uh, we have all this going on, so mull it over, then start it. You're going to hear, I bet they're doing an emergency pod. Uh, if not now, very, very soon on the Pick 6 podcast with all of these moves going on surrounding the draft, the 49ers, the Eagles, and the Dolphins. Make sure to download and subscribe. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.